What's up guys? My name is Idan and welcome to How Much YouTube channel. First, I want to thank you so much because I reached 100,000 subscribers this year and I got this from YouTube, the award. So thank you guys so much. If you're subscribed, you're one of the people who helped me get there and it really supports my channel and I can continue doing videos and it's really awesome. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and join us. Today we're gonna talk about beat main miners and why I stop doing reviews about them. So this is the last, pretty much the last product I reviewed from Bitmain. This is the Z9 Mini. It mines Zcash. And back then, if you were one of the first people who subscribed to my channel, I did a lot of videos about Bitcoin. That's how I started. My YouTube name used to be called How Much Bitcoin. And then, I, and then since then I changed it to How Much because I'm doing a lot of different things now. Anyways, let's look back a little bit to see why I stopped doing reviews about those products. So a year ago, I made a video about the Z9 Mini. And I bought it myself from Bitmain, shipped to me, did a review, and right away start mining. So that's how the whole thing worked for me. I would buy the machine, do the review, and then start mining so that way I can get some money back from the investment I put in from buying this. A year ago, when I first got the machine, I actually made $540 a month on the machine. But if you know Bitcoin or how cryptocurrency in general, every, every time there's a new machine coming out, more and more people mining, which in return, there is less and less profits because there's less coins uh, distributed to everybody who mines. So obviously, over time, this thing became less and less profitable and now it's actually losing $15 a month. <laughs> if I'm gonna run this thing, I'm gonna lose money. I guess that's fine, you know, you buy the machine, you make some money in the beginning of the hype, and then eventually you don't make that much money anymore, and then you sell it, not bad, right? The problem is difficulty went up so much for Bitcoin. It's keep going up, which is very weird because Bitcoin price is going down. We actually, um, one of the lowest uh, of the years, like $7,000 or so for the Bitcoin price, even though pe people are still mining more and more, the value of the price of the Bitcoin is less. Therefore, you get paid less if you mine in general. So what's going on here? Why people are doing this? I personally don't know exactly. It could be that people think that Bitcoin price will go up and therefore they're kind of like collecting as much Bitcoin as they can. But at, the, at this point, it's better just to buy Bitcoin if you really believe that Bitcoin goes up and we don't really know, right? Another theory is that people have big facilities with free electricity or very cheap or solar panels or something that makes the electricity really, really cheap. It makes it worth it to continue mining at a very small profit or you know, just keep going because it's free electricity anyways. Because one of the reasons why we lose money on those machines or why it doesn't, it doesn't make any money to mine is because the electricity price have to be part of it. And if you include it, you don't make any money. So it doesn't work for me anymore to go buy the machine from Bitmain. For example, they have the S17 Plus. It's an, a new product from Antminer. They now actually have seven nanometer chips, the same as you get from the new Android, you know, Snapdragon 855 and the new iPhones have seven nanometer chip. Even AMD come up with seven nanometer chip this year. So they are super efficient. They're much cooler. They can mine much more powerful. Uh, but they still don't make enough money for it to be worth it, especially for me, if I buy one, do a review for it, and then make nothing. So for example, uh, let's take a look at the S17 Plus, which has 73 terahashes, which is so much. I remember back then machines used to make 500 gigahashes was tons. Imagine it's many, many times more than that in one machine. So that machine, for example, can mine 73 terahashes, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, or anything else that's SHA-256. If you're familiar, you can Google it. Those are the algorithm that works on the Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and some other coins. And another problem is, is now they are giving them with 220 volt as uh, you have to have 220 volt outlet to be able to run them. Especially me in America, we run on 110 volts and we can't just plug it into the wall and start mining. We just can't do it. You have to have a converter, and that's just a bad idea for such a high power. Or you have to use your you know, dryer, washing machine plug, or a call electrician or something, and it's just not worth it. That's another one of the reasons why I'm not reviewing those products anymore. Just so many obstacles on getting one and mining it and making profit. 
So I'll show you guys together how I do the calculation with um, when a new product from Bitcoin coming up, how to check how much it makes. So I'll go to CryptoCompare.com and I'm gonna write here 73 terahashes and we're gonna draw 3000 watts. I pay about 12 cents per kilowatt hours in my place and it really depends on you where you live is, you know, depends on how much you pay, but it's at least 10 cents in America. I think in Texas it might be less, like eight cents or something. Um, there are some areas in, in the United States it's less, but unless it's free, you're gonna pay like 10 cents minimum, okay? So with my 12 cents uh, price per kilowatt hours, I'm only making $46 out of a $1,800 investment um, to buy the S17. Plus, I have a noisy, hot machine running all the time somewhere in my garage or something, and then even if I make a review about it and make a couple bucks on that, it just doesn't make any sense for me to do it. So who is doing it? Why are they keep mining for loss? And, the, and the, it's, they're doing it a lot too. The difficulty going up and up and up and up. And the only reason could be is good connections with the power company, have some credits. I heard some people have credit with the power company. So they use that and convert the credit into cryptocurrency, which it can sell. Another thing could be solar panel. Uh, if you live in the dorms or something, I wouldn't recommend it, but that's the only reason I can think of. But at that scale, it must be big, big factories. It's not people at home that's buying a $1,800 machine and start running Bitcoin. It just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any money. So much noise and work. It must be big facilities to do this. So there are, must be, very powerful people who really believe in the cryptocurrency and they keep mining it either at a loss or a very, very small profit. Now, Bitmain doesn't care because Bitmain makes the machines and it costs them about the same to make it. So price could go up, price could go down. Where cryptocurrency goes up, they can sell their products for more. It still costs them the same. So for, for Bitmain, it's not a huge deal. And I think I remember at one point they even stopped selling you know, any new machines uh, for a while until they got with the new one, the S17 versions uh, that are much more powerful. Now, if you think about it, you know, you can buy for a couple hundred bucks or maybe a hundred dollars a 16 or 17 terahashes uh, miner. Why just not buy like 10 of those? That will cost you like a grand or 1,500 bucks and you can mine 106 to 170 terahashes. So if you get free electricity, you can just run more of those. I will say that probably a better solution if you do have free electricity then go ahead and spending a thousand eight hundred bucks on a single miner um, that's more efficient obviously but mine you know almost the same for you for the price I don't know why leave a comment below let me know what do you think why people still mining for loss I did it for a little while for fun for like learning how it works and stuff which is fine there is miners that I'm selling on my website it's bitcoinmerch.com um, that's the new pack I think a lot of you guys have this miner it's really fun to learn you can plug it into with a USB to your computer and start running it right away. And the whole idea of it is not really to make money. Um, it's only a few cents or something. It's for learning how mining works, how to play with the clock speeds, how to how overclocks works, and how the reward system works. So people buy it and learn a lot on the process, and that's why people are buying it. They're not making any profit, and they know it. I mentioned it many times when I review those products. This has been a, um, a more popular product, and if you want to get into mining, that's a good way. And also buying just used machines online if you want to, because they don't make any money, they're like a brick. They don't worth anything. So you can buy them and practice on them, uh, but some of them has a you know loud fan and stuff, and you know this USB, doesn't have any fun, you just plug it in, play with it, and you give it to someone else. And um, that's the benefit of the USB stick miner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below why do you think that cryptocurrency uh, mining difficulty, especially on Bitcoin, keep going up and up and up, even though price, price of the Bitcoin keeps going down. I'm really curious about your opinion about that. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'm gonna do a lot of how much videos in general. And it's nice to go back to uh, my Bitcoin times in the beginning of my YouTube. Uh, to kind of talk about that a little bit. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, guys. So I'm missing a few seconds on my video to get 10 minutes. So enjoy this beautiful dog, uh, Wyler. He eats his uh, bully stick. He's very happy. You know, you know, more seconds in my video is great. <laughs> Need a few more seconds <laughs> for 10 minutes. You know, 10 minutes video is better than less. Good boy. Here you go. It's a nice dog. Yes. Good doggy.
Good boy. Pretty dog. Let's see. A few more. Here you go. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs>